In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we, the people of God, gather to hear and respond to God's word, and to give God praise and thanks as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. As we contemplate the incarnation of the Son of God, we praise Him who created the family of humankind and who, in the fullness of time, sent His Son to be part of our family. Christmas is a celebration of the family. May today's feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph teach us the value of family life and to live in peace with one another as members of the one family of God. Let us pray as the family of God who share in his life. Father in heaven, creator of all, you ordered the earth to bring forth life and crowned its goodness by creating the family of man. In history's moment when all was ready, you sent your son to dwell in time, obedient to the laws of life in our world. Teach us the sanctity of human love. Show us the value of family life and help us to live in peace with all men, that we may share in your life forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now listen to the readings for the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he conforms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reverse his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, he is heard. Whoever reverse his father will live a long life, and he who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives, even if his mind fail. Be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the death of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The Word of the Lord. Let our response be, Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Response. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Response. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Response. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, 
heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all this, put on love, that is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. The Word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarean. The Gospel of the Lord Tayo po ngayon ay nagdiriwang ng kapistahan ng banal na mag-anak, the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Sa liturgical calendar po, kapag ang Pasko ay natapat sa linggo, 
ang kapisang ito ay automatically transferred to Friday. And sa ordo, no, the order of prayers and readings, nakasaad doon na pwede pong mamili doon sa binasa ko kanina na first and second reading, pero I opted to read both readings para po maintindihan nyo yung kahalagahan ng kapistahan natin ngayon. Alam niyo po, noong 1981, sumulat daw si Sister Lucia, isa sa mga pinagpakitaan ng mahal na birhen sa Fatima, no? isa po siyang seer, S-E-E-R. So, gumawa po siya ng sulat kay Cardinal Carlo Cafora, no? ang nooy arsobispo ng Bologna, patungkol sa mga ipinakita sa kanila ng mahal na ina sa mga huling araw. Sinabi po ni Sister Lucia sa kanyang sulat kay Cardinal Cafora, The final battle between the Lord and the kingdom of Satan will be about marriage and the family. Ang huling digmaan daw sa pagitan ng Panginoon at ng kaharian ni Satanas ay tungkol daw po sa sakramento ng kasal at ng pamilya. Alam niyo po nakakalungkot isipin na hanggang sa ngayon ay sinusubok pa rin ng panahon ang katatagan at pasagraduhan ng kasal at pamilya. The strength and the sacredness of marriage and family. Nandiyan na nga po yung mga batas tulad ng same-sex marriage at divorce. Nariyan na rin po yung Western idea na ini-infiltrate ang definition ng conventional family without understanding the very reason and being for the foundation of what a family is. Alam niyo po, nung pagkatapos na ma-release ang sulat ni Sister Lucia, alam niyo nabanggit ni Cardinal Cafora na ang pamilya ay core and pillar ng lahat ng bagay sa pamilya, sa Biblia. Simula sa panoon ng paglikha, ang relasyon ng lalaki at babae, at ng komunidad. At syempre, kung ang core and uh, pillar ng lahat ay ang pamilya, syempre, ang unang sisirain ay yung core. No? Kung baga, kung sisirain natin ang isang building, syempre unahin natin foundation. Dahil ang pamilya ang core and foundation ng faith and vocation, ng pananampalataya at vocation. Alam niyo po, si na St. John Paul II, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, at Pope Francis, you know, they wrote extensively about the importance of family. Mayroon po silang mga quotes and advices para po mapanatili natin yung kabuuhan ng pamilya. At kung isasummarize natin silang lahat, meron pong apat na bagay na dapat nating tandaan. Four things that we should remember. First one is love and respect. Pagmamahalan at pagbibigay galang. Second, patience and understanding. Pagpapasensyahan at pag-uunawaan. Third, Operation and teamwork. At pang-apat, enriching our family's prayer life. No? Pagpapalago ng buhay pananalangin. Alam nyo po, sa totoo lang, mahirap po talaga maging bahagi na isang watak na pamilya. No? Broken family. Ako po mismo at ang aking kapatid, no? ay nakaranas ng napakabigat at pait na resulta ng paghihiwalay ng magulang. Pero dahil din po sa tulong at grasya ng Diyos, kahit papaano, ay nalampasan naman, nalampasan naman namin ang mga problema sa buhay simula noong nangyari yun. Alam niyo po, tama nga po yung kasabihan ng mga matatanda na kapag naghiwalay ang mga magulang, ang 
pinakaunang naapektuhan ay yung mga anak. Kaya nga po, mismo ang simbahan ang nakikiusap sa lahat ng pamilya sa buong mundo na sana patatagin natin at panatilihing nagkakaisa at buo ang pamilya anuman ang pinagdadaanan na pagsubok sa buhay. Ngayong kapistahan ng banal na mag-anak, gawin po nating inspirasyon. Tayo man ay may pamilya o wala o nagbabalak magkapamilya, gawin po nating inspirasyon si na Jesus Maria at Jose. Dahil sila po ang larawan ng pagmamahala ng banal na santatlo, sila rin po ang larawan ng pagbubuklod at pagkakaisa. Kaya po sa tuwing nakakaranas tayo ng problema sa loob ng ating pamilya, sa tuwing may namumuong sigalot at hindi pagkakaunawaan, lumapit po tayo sa kanila, ang banal na mag-anak. Let us ask for their intercession and strength. Sa pagwawakas po ng ating pagninilay, nais ko pong ibahagi sa inyo ang responsory na aming dinarasal nung ako po ay nagturo sa San Isidro Catholic School at inaanyayahan ko po kayo kasama inyong pamilya o kayo man po na kasama kong nakikidasal sa ating pagdiriwang na salita ng Diyos na yumuko at sumabay po sa pananalangin sa katahimikan. Jesus Maria at Jose, ibinibigay namin ang aming puso at kaluluwa sa inyo. Jesus, Maria at Jose, ingatan ninyo kami sa oras ng sandali ng aming buhay. Jesus, Maria at Jose, miling kayo sa amin sa oras ng aming kamatayan. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that the Holy Family, the perfect model of every human family, may help each family grow in understanding its mission in the church and in the society. With confidence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your family, O Lord. May the church, like the family of Nazareth, be an example of unity, faithfulness, and love, especially in places where families suffer internal crisis. We pray to the Lord. May government and civil leaders be mindful of the sacredness and inviolability of the family and its role in God's plan. We pray to the Lord. May Husbands and wives remain faithful to their covenant of love in marriage and find their fulfillment through sincere gift of self. We pray. May children honor their parents and give joy to them through love and obedience. May parents bring up their children to live in truth, love, and self-giving. We pray. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise the members of our families who have gone ahead of us. We pray to the Lord. Let us now pray for our for the urgent concern of our community and also let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Father, hear our prayers and supplications. May we live our days in humble service to you through our concern for the good of the family. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us.
brothers and sisters, we have concluded the celebration of the Word of God for the Feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We have heard God's Word, and we have prayed for one another. Let us now go and celebrate as God's family the sacred banquet given to us by Christ himself as a memorial of his death and resurrection and as our spiritual nourishment. The responses can be seen on the screen. Praise be Jesus Christ. May the Holy Trian God live in our hearts. O Mary conceived without original sin. O most sacred heart of Jesus, Immaculate heart of Mary, Most chaste heart of Saint Joseph, All you holy angels and saints of God, that in all things God may be glorified and may God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat. A blessed Christmas to all. Thank you.